can't predict when songs are going to come. They're really odd things. The next song happened. I was in this time, you know, trying to write this uplifting song, uh, and I thought, I know, I'll, I'll wash the dishes <laughs> because you know that's kind of what you do when you're procrastinating. You're going, you're, you should do your homework, or you should be really doing something. I'm going to go and do something I never do. So I went and washed the dishes, and I'm sort of doing the dishes, and then. Uh, I was, while I was doing the dishes, I was thinking about, I'd been watching Cheers, you know the program Cheers? And, uh, when you're in the fire. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, I, I, I was doing the dishes, thinking Cheers, and there's a scene in Cheers where Norm is talking to Woody at the bar, and he's talking about how he's at his job, and, uh, he's in the toilets, in, in, his, in his office, <coughs> in the cubicle, and he overhears his, his boss in the toilets, talking about how he's going to sack people and he, he says he's going to get rid of the driftwood in the, in the office and I was like, uh, so I'm doing the dishes and, and out of nowhere I sort of, with this in my head, I'm like, Yo, do 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 is, is technical in songwriting, you have a lot of do 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 everyone thinks bands can read music, when they find out you can't read music, they're like, oh, that's true. But most of the time, bands from the Beatles right through to the whoever, you see them in studios and they're not reading music, they're just going, goes like this, that's it, no, no, it's do 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 yeah, do 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 very technical, um, so, you drew through, do 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 and I, I thought, oh, that's quite cool, so I ran upstairs and I got my little dictaphone and I was sort of pressed, kind of, record, whatever, sung it, figured it out on guitar and then went back downstairs, finished the dishes, and then that was that. Forgot all about it until the next day and I'm like, oh, I did something and ran into the room and got the tape recorder and press play headphones on. All you can hear is me walking away from the tape recorder. Shit, Because it was a new one and I didn't know quite how to work it. I think I'd, I'd press pause when I should have pressed fun pause and then got that mixed up. So you just hear me going like, down the stairs. Do the dishes, you hear then Andy comes round and then you hear me like, and this, this tape's like two hours long. It's one of these really weird little micro tapes like this, I the digital. Um, anyway, I'm sitting in here the next day listening to it going, wow. Oh. And the, I think there's like one minute to go on the tape. Um, I've listened to it for two hours going, please, it's, it's got to be a mistake. And I hear, then I hear myself coming back up the stairs. I'm like, this must be me coming up to do it. And I, and I thought, like, it was the first time, you know, and I'm like, how could that be possible? <laughs> how could I maybe get on a time machine or something? <laughs> but anyway, I hear myself coming up the stairs, like, don't, don't. And then I hear myself turning and going back down, and I'm like, no, there's like 30 seconds left on the tape. I'm like, no. And I, just as I'm going down the stairs, I do it again. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> That's it. So I got, I managed to catch it, and I, I wrote it, and um, I wrote it really, really quickly. And, uh, and it's, this is, uh, I think it's uh, one of my favourite one of our songs. And um, this is called Just. 